Dave, we're starting out this morning on the Hughes Red Fisher 18. This boat started the fiberglass flats boat revolution. Absolutely. The Hughes, it's built by Maverick Pathfinder Boat Company out of Fort Pierce. And really that whole company, everything they do revolves around fishing. Well, it does. And it all started with the Hughes. There was a Hughes long before there was any of the others. And of course, it was a brainchild of Bob Hughes. There was a niche flats boat market in the Florida Keys. I still remember the first time I saw one come to Jacksonville. I thought the guy brought it there to store it. Well, I was the same way on Lake Okeechobee because I've seen these with trolling motors outfitted for guys that are fishing for bass. They are now probably the signature flats boat. If you talk to the general public and you ask them to name some flats boats manufacturers, one name's gonna pop up first over every other. Oh, absolutely, and you know what? You can take one look at the boat and you know why. This boat is serious business. It's got everything you need. You've got storage, you've got rod holders, nice big wide gunnels, release wheel, live wheel, perfect size console. It's all about flats fishing. If you're gonna decide on what the best boat for you is in the flats boat genre, you've really got to find the mission you want to do with your flats boat. Well, you're absolutely right. There again, this boat we brought today, it's in the middle of the class. We've got the Skull Island, which is smaller. We've got the Sterling, which is larger. So this is the middle sized boat, which will kind of let you do a little of both. You can still fish the flats. You can get into the bays. And if you've got to cross a long, let's say you're going to run from Isla Morada all the way to Shark River. This is a boat that'll do that. It is, Dave. And every boat, you, when you're deciding on what size boat, how much draft you want for your boat, what kind of power. It's all a compromise. You give up something to get something. This boat may well be the best boat for a person that's looking for a good flat boat. Well, when you brought up a good point when you said draft, most flats boats have very little dead rise. Some are even just flat on the bottom. The trade-off there is they can get very, very shallow and they have very little draft. Basically what draft is, when your dead rise hits the bottom, that's your draft. That's your draft. It's the <laughs> distance from the water line to the bottom of the boat is how much she drafts. Rick, any boat to be defined as a flats boat has got to have a big bow casting platform, and this Hughes absolutely has one. Another thing I like, they've decided to put their fuel tank forward under the casting platform. That's going to offset the weight of that big 150 in the back. It is. It's going to help your draft, Dave. But I got to tell you, any quality flats boat has to have a few things in common. First off, you notice the deck is flat. The cleats recess. A lot of guys fly fish from these boats, and you can't have your fly line snagging on something that's around your feet when you're on the deck. See these wide gunnels right here? I've got that big tarpon on. I can go flying right down this gunnel and, and without having to get down in the cockpit and get back up and stay out of the way of everybody else. There's a lot of things that make fishing from this boat easier and define the very genre of flats boat. When you look at the design of this console, it's very simple, but it's everything you need. Even down to the grab rails here and here, where if we're running in rough water, you can go I've got fast. a place to hang on to. Yep, you got a place to hang on to, Dave, and yet they even thought so far is to round off these edges, okay? If you're fighting a big tarpon and he's switching end to end, okay? He's on the bow and all of a sudden he charges down the stern. You got to be able to come down the gunnel and with nothing to snag your line on, whether it's a spinning rod or a fly rod. Just rounding off these edges means that there is nothing for your line to catch and break your fish off on. Well, another thing I got to tell you, I drove the boat for a while this morning. Having this backrest here, all the difference in the world, especially if we're going to make a long run, this to me would be a necessity. But then the rear casting deck, you've got a center mounted live well. You've got a release well over here that could double as a second live well, and then plenty of storage on this side. Well, you do, Dave, and that takes us back to you've got fish that you can weigh in a tournament that is a release tournament, okay? Weigh your fish, let him go, and you keep your bait separate in a live well. But let's talk about the lunch table we've got back here. Right, well, no flats boat would be called a flats boat without a pulling platform. I would much rather fish from up here because I can see, just like you like the towers in your big sport fisherman, I like a pulling platform in my flats boat. Every time you raise a foot off of, the, off of the deck of your boat, regardless of the kind of boat it is, you greatly increase your visibility looking out. This boat isn't just designed to fish, it's designed to see fish and throw at a specific target. Well, and that's really what the flats boat is designed for. If you see a fish on the flats, you've got to be stealthy. You've got to sneak up on that fish because he's wary. He's aware of everything in his environment, boat presence, birds, everything. You got to be up here, no motors, slowly push that boat up onto the flats and make that cast. 
the Hughes 18 Red Fisher may be the middle of the class that we brought today, with one being smaller and one being larger than this, but this is one boat that really is versatile. It can do it all. Flats fish, bay fish, even go out and hit that inlet. Well, it can, Dave. You can cross a broader expanse of water in this than you can some of the smaller technical skiffs that we'll be looking at a little later on. And you know, flats boats have come a long way since Bob Hughes got this thing started, but I think he'd still be proud today of what his company's putting out. This thing has stayed ahead of the evolutionary curve when it comes to building great flats boats.